I am rank one on Trailblazer League Reloaded, and I'm 5,000 points away from the final Relic Unlock and the 5x drop multiplier. And my only mission for today is to reach those 24,000 points by any means possible. And that means today, I'm gonna have to do some very hard but rewarding tasks. Let's get into it. All right, I just woke up. It's time to do some audio while I figure my life out. I have to edit my day three video, which is probably gonna be like an hour long. So I'm gonna AFK here at audio while I do it. There's a 200 point task at 300 KC, a 200 point task for the ring it drops, and it also drops one of the Void Waker pieces, and equipping the full Void Waker is another 200 points. It's completely AFKable, so it's fully efficient. Let's go, boys. We just got the D pick. I'm still going to stay here while I AFK edit this video, but that is a hard task done for 80 points, getting me to 18,740. Oh, baby, a triple. We got the Tyrannical Ring, too. Oh, baby, a triple. An elite task for 200 points, 18,940 while editing. I think I might stay here still. That is really, really nice to get. I still need the Void Waker piece. I could wait until I'm on the X5 drop rate for that, but that is a long way away, 5,060 points. I'm sponsoring today's video with my own merch. I launched it especially for leagues with some sick designs, and if you wanna go the extra step in supporting me, buying my merch is the best way. I've got a pack watch and troll face and DB branded coffee mugs, hoodies, crew necks, hats, beanies, and more that can all be at your doorstep within the week so please consider checking it out at didabitter.com. Any purchase directly supports me. Dude, I just got the Claws of Callisto. I'm only missing the Void Waker piece now, and I have around 70 KC to get it without having to go dry for it. I don't think there's any task for just getting it. I need the Rev Weapon. Got another Tyrannical Ring. I still haven't got that Void Waker piece. There's nothing I can really do with that. I've only got 30 more KC for RDO kill count in general. Okay, the question is, is Blood Rush going to be good enough to kill this final RDO KC? Because I just ran out of Blood Runes again. Oh, dude. I'm going to run out of this blood rune too. Shit, shit, shit. Oh no. Dude, please. Oh, fuck me, dude. That's so cringe. I think I may have just paused my recording, but I ice burst the rest of the kill and got 300 KC. So I'm now at 19,140. I'm going to go make my way over to Fossil Island and chop the tree because I'm still editing this video. Bro, I can't even note these fossils. Like, I'm just going to Teak's. All right, that's 75 wood cutting, so I'm going to call it here. That allows me to chop the magic tree for that task. I'm going to go get to pickpocketing, I think, because I'm still not done editing this video. Okay, I have these ice gloves on. Let me see if this is going to work how I think it's going to work, because this is about to be the most AFK thieving plus crafting XP of my life. Yep. Ice gloves make it so I don't get hit. The relic makes it so I never fail. And there's no coin pouches that I have to open, so I can just pickpocket this guy forever. My 40 minute video from yesterday is rendering, so I'm gonna get started on some other stuff, some low effort shit. I need to get to TOA eventually, so let's start contact and then do beneath Chris Sands. Defeating a Scarab Mage should be a 40 point task, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, oh. Oh yeah, 40 points, correct, correct. Oh, okay, I just completed the quest. They didn't give me a task or anything anyway, but yeah. I'm at 66 strength from the rewards. Starting the TOA quest now, let's go, wish me luck. All right, well that took forever. So don't stand in front of this guy. What does that even mean? Dude, that was that was it. Ooh, beneath Chris Sands, 80 points. 19260. 80 points. Dig up some magic roots. That took forever. How many fucking logs do I have? 19, dude. Jesus Christ. If this isn't 75 prayer, bro, I don't know what is. Restore 75 prayer points at an altar, 80 points. I'm looking for quests. Spirits of the Lid, 40. Pray, 40. Goddamn. Combo Breaker, 19,500. All right, I'm under strict instructions from my coach right now that I have to kill 50 goats. So that's what we're doing. Another one of my biggest goals in this video, apart from 24,000 points, is to get my herb lore up. Boom, make a co Oh, what the hell? That's a 40 point task as well. 19,540. I don't even know what XP I just got though. It's just the Desert Diary none. It is, how many points? 40. What kind of herb? Oh, it got me to 63, so I can go collect red spider eggs, bro. Pog. Let's train some smithing, fellas. 61 smithing, Giant's Foundry time. Okay, that is Sleeping Giant's done, which unlocks the Giant's Foundry. It has the most annoying overlay of all time, but that is 40 points and gets me to 64 smithing. It was a close one though. Oh, it is a toss. What the hell? 40 points. Ooh, is that a combo breaker? It was. 120 points. 68 herb lore. We need some red spider eggs, baby. Oh shit. Is it cracked? 
I think... No, look at my hits. I think it's cracked. Dude, I swear the hits aren't even showing up. Like, they're so delayed. I'm actually purposely gonna sit a little bit low HP here at Spindle. I need the red spider egg drops to trade my Herbler more. And with the Executioner Relic I unlocked yesterday, the lower HP I am, the harder I hit. Three points, Venonatus Adept. Ooh, and we got the red spider's eggs. Let's see what 17 Snapdragon Seeds gets us. This better work, this better work. Have Zyher make 1,000 unfinished potions, let's go. It wasn't of the same, so I was kind of worried it might glitch out. 80 points. Damn, bruh. Thought you were a UIM. This guy's using the bank right in front of me. The way I see it, I just made enough super restores to do 20 Inferno runs. I'd have never done a Mage Inferno before, and it's going to be really weird with a 2 tick attack speed. But I'm going to go do it, because getting an Infernal Cape is 400 points that I need to get to the final relic. So this is the setup I'm rocking. The full Dagon High with Blood Barrage and Ice Barrage, basically max. Noted combo food and restore, so I have unlimited supplies. And I have the full obby switch for when things get a little dicey, and for the Ranger on Zuck. Remember, because of my tier 7 Relic Berserker, every single one of my first hits is a max hit. And because I'm attacking at a 2 tick speed, I get 2 attacks off, which means I can basically one hit a lot of things. How do you think this is going to hit on the Major? Still strong as hell. Seems to be getting rinsed. Jal Zek Osiris. Its mage level is 300. Zuck Osiris. Mage level is 150. We take those. Ooh, elite combat toss. Halfway there. Let's go. We're halfway there. Ah, uh, you know that song, I too, or what? No. No way. You're trolling. Me. I actually don't. I actually I'm don't. Living on a prayer. Damn. You gotta get cultured, bro. I thought you were the most cultured guy ever since he dropped the KG energy, bro. But apparently not, dude. Apparently not. Bro, I don't listen to fucking songs like that. Oh, my bad. Alright, it's all be time. Seems to be going splendidly, mate. We got the blob involved now, too, dude. He wants a piece of this. Oh my days. Okay, these waves have actually been insanely fun. I never splash a freeze so I can just freeze the melee air. And between the two tick blood barrage and the noted food, dying just isn't an option. Let's bring on Diads and Zuck. The mage relic and executioner and the full dag and I just everything I have going for me absolutely rinses these Jads. It's time for Zuck. Come on, mage, go off, dude. Okay, I'm gonna keep it above 600 and just let the timer go. Because I'll have a set in 50 seconds. Come on, get it under 600, please. Come on, can I get it to 240 HP real quick? I know healers will be fast as fuck, so... Okay, that is what it is. It really is what it is.
healed up so fucking much, dude. But I am lower HP now for Zuck. Which is nice. Hit a couple forties. And that is Zuck completed. Don't know what kind of timer we're on. Grandmaster. Oh, I, did I just do it in a speed toss? I did it. I did a sub 65, 60 minutes. No way. Inferno Cape. Master task done, 20,300, just like that. God damn, let's relog. If you're enjoying the video so far, remember to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. It helps feed me and my 100 kids. Very glad to get the Mage Inferno on my first try. I'll be flexing that for years to come. That was 480 points I just got with the speed task and the master task of wearing the Infernal Cape. Very, very big for us to get to 24,000. Don't think we can do it without it. And that is chop 100 Willow Logs, 40 points. We need to burn 100 too. And that is burn 100 willow logs too, which is another 40 points, 20,380. I'm working on fletching right now, so I'm probably just gonna keep doing this for a little bit. Okay, that's like, I can't reach that, and Guardian Stone more is six combat achievement tasks, just like that. Yeah, I'm just doing, getting 10kc for a CA until, you know, you tell me the move, you know. Well, let's get the fucking TOA, baby, come on. Oh, are you already ready? Wait, what do you need? Oh, Odium Shard, in front of your eyes, Jake. <laughs> in front of my fucking face, dude. All right, that's 10kc done at Scorpia for Scorpia Adept. Very, very nice. It is time for me to go to Raise 3 for the first ever time in my life. Yes, so and don't ask again. Definitely, definitely Zabak. Hit it from Zabak, yeah? You know how to do this room here? No. All right, oh, you're, not gonna, you're, not, you're not getting the CA then. Down. <laughs> Just sit sit in the sit in the middle and kill the crocs. Okay. Oh. These crocs ain't getting anywhere near my palm of resourcefulness. <laughs> <laughs> they can't touch it, bro. They can't touch us. Use teleport. Pray range. Why is why is why is someone else praying mage, dude? Oh, when, when the balls pray mage. That one's pray mage. Dude, my mage is hitting. Are you sure I should range this? You should definitely be maging it if you're you got the mage relic, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you should definitely be maging it. That's what I thought. Dude, I'm so good at this. You just gotta dodge the waves. Yep. Oh, what's this? Okay, stay in front of this uh, thing that I'm about to stay in front of, Ditto. We'll stay behind it, not in front. Oh! Pray range, pray range. Oh. Can I hit it from here? Oh, wow. <laughs> the more you know, dude, the more you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I've been one tick flicking this whole time. I forgot I've got the soul split. Dude, I feel like I'm surfing right now. Don't stand next to it, don't oh! stand next to it. I didn't, I didn't. I yeah. There you go. I didn't stand next to it ever. Good fight. I forgot to summon a thrall that whole time. Don? Just keep moving. Damn right. it, I failed perfect Kefri, dude. Salt, smelling salts you're talking about. Yep. Okay. I'll take chaos. I've been marked for detonation. Oh, run, shit. run, stand run. on each other. Oh, peace. Yep. Oh, I'm that's dying. Hurt. Right, melee, attack with mage. Attack with oh, melee yeah. and avoid the cum. Oh, right. This is what they talk about when I see tweets about cum phase, huh? Yeah. Oh, go on, Joe. Wait, is it coming for me? Who's it coming for? <laughs> no, it's coming for Joe. Okay. He's running around. Running around, holding. No, I missed it. No, fucked it. Congrats, guys. Made it through the hardest part of the raid. But I got a big banana. Take it. <laughs> There's no way. What do I do with it? We shouldn't get orbs. Yeah, a large ball of energy is shot your way. Okay, yeah, so stay here. Oh. oh, I just got 35 mil mage, bro. Hey, mage. Hey, Jesus. To the left, to the left, thank to the left. You, thank you. To the middle, to the middle, to the middle. To the right. 
at the end here, here you're going to want to stand up the front right next to the boss. The tiles are going to start zooming off. Pray mage. Stand to the right. Sorry, left middle. Oh, middle. What the fuck? Oh my god. There definitely was. Yeah. And that is 80 points for completing the Tomes of a Masket. Shout out Eevee Scape and Unlockers. And 80 points for 100 combat achievement points. So 160 point combo breaker. How do I know which one's my chest, dude? Oh. Has a key on it. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I think this, I'm about to get 200 points for completing a bunch. Yup. You've completed an elite task. Combat achievements, medium tier. Very, very nice. 200 points just like that. 20,940. 20, Don't mind if I do. 76, damn. One more level for the toy still from Herbivore. All right, I'm literally gonna go pick up spider's eggs to get this final Herblore level because I want to do Herbie and chill and do some fletching and stuff. I'm gonna spend 300 points on the ability to fletch broad arrows because it's a task and it's what I'm gonna do to train my fletching. Make some broad arrows, that should be 40 points right there. Fletch some broad arrows or bolts, 40 points, getting me to 20,980. So you can't actually get the Secataris to loot herbivore from any person or shop in the regions I have. So I was panicking thinking I was locked from all the Herbie tasks. Check the wiki and it turns out you can get it from Toolbox 5 in your player own house. 40 points from building a mahogany portal. Alright. 21,020. That's reached base level 50, which is another 40 points. I'm legit AFK as hell right now, so I'll take that. Okay, and that is catching 50 salmon for another 40 points too. I'm still eating, so I'm gonna move over to lobster, I think. Okay, I'm no longer AFK eating, so I'm gonna get ready for Herbie, which means I need to make a toolbox in my house. Finally, we got the Secretaries, dude. Oh my. Okay, there's 560 points locked behind Herbivore, which I'm gonna get started on. And actually more points for 99 Hunter, which I wasn't including that. I also have all these arrows, which I'm gonna use for fletching. And if I run out of fletching, I'm gonna start doing crafting as well. And that is 1750 total, which was another 80 points. I didn't even know I was sneaking up on that. What are we at now? 20, uh, 21,180. I just lied to you guys, really sorry about that. I did like 20 to 30 Herbivore KC, but one of the 200 point tasks is to receive a Torstal from the Herbivore. And apparently with only 77 Herblore, the chance is like less than 1% with the amount of Herbie I'm doing. And it scales like if I get 81 Herblore, it's a lot more likely. I don't really have any secondaries, but I gotta find a way to get an 81 Herblore. Because if I go to 150 Herbie without getting the Torstal, I'm fucked. I'm trying to think of the most efficient way to get some secondaries or some Herblore supplies. I do need to train my range up and I don't really know how to do it, but I do have these 500 chins. So I'm thinking I could go chin some dust devils as my task and maybe get some seeds or secondaries. And if not, I'll just get to 75 range. Okay, that's 75 range for base 75s. So we're 40K off 99 HP. I'll just stay here till we get that, but I am just gonna move to spindle. I'm not gonna complete this task. And that is low 99 HP, which is another 200 points, 21,380. I still have a bunch of dust devils to go, but I only have 74 chins. I got myself the 75 range, which works towards my long-term goal of base 75s. I'm gonna go to spindle and hopefully pull some red spider eggs and unicorn horns. Spindle time again, same tactics as last time, same goals as last time. I need some red spider eggs to get this 81 herb lore, and there's also league points at 50kc just like Ardeo, as well as the Void Waker drop, and it's ring which is 200 points. 20kc, Venonatus Veteran gives me 4 points, we take that. D pick, but I already got that. Let's go! Let's go, bro. Red spider. I got red spider eggs, bro. I was, I was going, it was, it was going, it was going very badly for me. Let's just say that. Oh my god, that was cutting it close. I had no unnoted food. That is 50 KC, which gives me 21 460 points. Let's get out of here and get our herblore up. I'm just training my herblore, talking to my boy. 81 herblore, which is very, very huge for us, increases the chance of getting that torso by a fuck ton. I'm just gonna go do all the herblore that I can, and then make my way over to herbivore. And that is making a Sardomen brew, which should be an 80 point toss. Yeah, it is 21,540. Or I could go do the Lumbridge and Drainer medium diary for another 120k XP, but that's not gonna go get me a level. So I'm just gonna go do Herbivore right now. All right, I'm gonna leave my fletching for now because I can actually do crafting while I do this as well, which is pretty efficient. I can just cut gems and then note them. Receive a torso from a Herbivore. So glad I got 82 fucking Herbivore, bro. Let's go. 200 points. I gotta take a shit, so I'm gonna go train some thieving. I was pickpocket while I go poop. While I'm here, I might as well blow my load in terms of toggle on just pure gems. 
All right, nice, 300. And obviously we have rubies and everything too. And that is catch a Herbie Boar 50 times for 80 points, 100 more, and we get another 200 points. And we get very, very close to 99 Hunter. So that's very, very nice. I'm gonna fly up to over 22,000 points. And we're at what, 71 crafting? About to be 72. I just ran out of diamonds, 76 crafting. I've got a bunch of rubies and other gems in the back. I'm not gonna go buy more diamonds right now while I'm doing Herbie. I'm just gonna use the other ones. 354 rubies, we'll start with that. I'm out of rubies. I'm just gonna do whatever the next gem I have in my bank is. I'm not gonna buy gems until I have to. Uh, looks like it's emeralds again. Just got to 80 crafting. I have no idea what the Dragonstone amulet requirement is, but I know I'm close to it if I can't do it already. There's a bunch of tasks for me to go. I just need to do 44 more herb labor. All right, I'm pretty much out of emeralds too, which means I'm gonna do the sapphires. Once that done, I think I will actually go buy some more gems because it's just, it's not efficient not to do it. I just got 81 crafting. I'm about to run out of sapphires here in a second. I've only got 20 more KC to go. I did say I would go buy more gems, but I'm probably not gonna do that. I just wanna finish this task now. It is time for the combo breaker to begin. 150 Herbie right now. That's gonna give us 200 points. And we're just gonna start flying up now and start completing a bunch of tasks. That got us over 22,000 for the first time. We're going all the way to 24,000. And we're gonna do it right now. Let's build a, what's it called? Let's build a magic tree house real quick. A magic tree house, a bird house. You know what I'm talking about. Another 80 points. I don't even have to put seeds in it. I'm going to anyway. Gets us to 22,100. Ooh, craft the Dragonstone Amulet. It did work. Let's go. That's another 80 points. 22, 180. And now I have an upgrade to a Glory, which is kind of huge for us. I think a Glory is better than a Magic Amulet. Oh, they're the same. But I guess it has defense bonuses. All right, we're going to do the three Jad Challenges, the four Jad Challenges, the five Jad Challenges, and the six Jad Challenges. Dude, these healers are rinsing me, bro. Anyway, the thing about three Jads is it's just two Jads, but there's one more. Um, 200 points right there. Wait, is that a master combat? Oh, it was an elite task. It was a master combat achievement. 22, 380, just like that. But yeah, these healers are fucking me up, dude. I might go get some obby armor out. All right, we got the four-way switch for the four jads. Thing about four jads is it's just three jads once you kill the fourth one. That's the thing about four jads. Once you kill one, it's just three. All right, and that is four jads done. Getting me to 22, 580, I imagine. You completed a master combat task. Nice. My brain is way too fried for five jads right now. I'm just going to get 99 thieving instead. And that is going to be 99 thieving, which is another 200 points for reaching level 99 thieving. I just wanted some dopamine after trying five jads. We're at 1220 points away from... We are now 1220 points away from the next relic. I really do want to go to sleep, but we need to get there. Can I solo corp with the mage relic? Oh my god, bro. That was actually something else. Defeat the Corporal Beast, 80 points, and an elite combat task as well. 10 minute Corp kill. All right, we need to keep flying to 2400. Let's build a hard stash unit and fill it. That's 80 points, 22940. All right, and that's 40 points for unlocking the free use of the Blast Furnace. What are we on now? 22980. All right, next up, I'm gonna get base level 60, which means I need to get my Runecraft, my cooking, and my fishing up. All right, just got 60 Runecrafting. Let's work on fishing and cooking now. And that is base level 60 with 60 cooking, getting us over 23,000 points for the first time. Let's push for this tier 8 relic. And that is craft 100 unpowered orbs for another 40 points, 900 away from the next relic. Should be a 10 point task for successfully cutting a red topaz. And I'm about to go hit a combo breaker with all of these gems. Okay, and that is a medium task, 40 points. I need to get 700 more trade sticks so I can do something else. But that is entering the type 101 hardwood grove. Red topaz machete. Equip, 80 points, getting me to 20, 30, 22, 230. I don't know how to spell IRL. And that is equip a full Taibo 10 villager set as well. 23, 270. Create a mythal grapple done for 40 points as well. 23, 310, combo breaker. Okay, and we can finally get that task done for 23, 350. Equip a full blue dehyde set. Scale this blue dehyde for another 10 points to 23, 360. I'm going to get 20 wines of Zamorak for a combo breaker with ranging potions. There we go. Make a four dose potion, 40 points. Let's go. And we're about to get to the combo breaker, getting 80 points for making 20 ranging potions, 520 from 24K. And that's the penguin agility course done. That took me longer than I'd care to admit. Craft a coif. That should be 40 points for the lumbridge diary done. 
All right, I don't know if I took a recording yet, so I'll take one now. I'm doing beginner clues because I think there might be some free points in it, and I'm only 400 away from the next relic. All right, getting a unique item from a reward casket, not bad. All right, let's open five more caskets. Nothing. Ooh, sandwich lady bottom. Fill five beginner clue collection log slots done for 40 points. Okay, that's fill 10 beginner clue collection log slots for 80 points. We very much take that. 23,730. I wasn't even expecting to do that. And that's gained 10 unique items from a big inner clues to 230 points until the next uh, task. 230 points until the next relic, I mean. Okay, we'll see what the elites are saying. Come on, let's fill three elite clue collection log slots. Nice. I really think I can gain 10 unique items. I want to do it. If I get 80 points from gaining 10 unique items, I can just go do Brimhaven Agility and I'm done. Come on. Gain 10 unique items from elite clues. There we go. All right, it's time to go get to tier eight. Let's go do Brimhaven. All right, I need to receive 30. I need to receive 30 tickets without any mistakes, which basically just means click the pillar every time and don't fuck up. I better not mess this up. I'm severely sleep deprived, but yeah. Dude, if I DC right now when I'm getting these 30 things, I'm gonna fucking lose it. No way, dude. That's so cringe. That's so fucking cringe. So yeah, I DC'd with only six tickets to go, which means I basically need to spend another 30 minutes here and I can't go to sleep. And that is received 30 agility arena tickets with no mistakes. Should have had that about 24 tickets ago, but shout out to my internet for the only time DCing is when I was doing something like that. But that gets us to 23,970, 30 points away from the relic. Let's cash that in now with a combo breaker. Buy a Snapdragon, and that is 40 points. We've unlocked the tier 8 relic. Let's go. I quickly did one more task by equipping full red dragon hide before getting off, but I successfully achieved 24,000 points and the tier 8 relic as rank 8 in the entire game. My bad for sleeping, I guess. Guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss tomorrow's video to see what final relic I choose once I wake up. And if you want to go the extra way to support me, go to ditterbitter.com and buy some of my merch. It goes a long way and I super appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching.